Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about a pinned rear axle option on the Viper slot car, but this also applies really to any slot car. So we often get asked, what does the pinned rear axle consist of? Why do I need it? And what does it do? And um, just a quick overview of that, we actually add axle retaining pins to the chassis, which prevent the axle from popping out of the car in the event of a crash. So typically in racing, uh, you wouldn't want that to happen because if the rear axle ends up popping out or ending up being cockeyed sideways like so, you are going to strip your gears and the car's not going to go and it just turns into a big pain. So we have added little dimples in our mold on the back of the chassis that allow you to either pin it yourself or you can you can select that option when you purchase your Viper chassis or your Viper car. So um, I can show you here real quick. If you want to zoom in, I'll get my pointers. So these are the rear axle pins and all that they do is push into the chassis. And now they are capturing the app axle, the rear axle in the chassis, and it won't pop out now. So um, super simple. If you want to change your rear axle out, you slide the pins back. I don't pull those all the way out and now your axle slides out. So when you receive your chassis, you will have your rear axle pins installed in there. We do sell the axle pins separately. They are cut to length. So if you want them longer or shorter, it depends. I usually like to have them to where they're just about flush with the back of the chassis. Some guys run them long, totally up to you, but, um, we do offer the pin vise as well. So for drilling the, the chassis comes with a really small drill bit. It's uh, 20 thousandths. They break really easily. Uh, we will do another video on that so that um, we can kind of share some tips and tricks. But for right now, that's about it. Super simple pin rear axle setup. Do I need it? Yes, if you don't want your rear end to pop out during a race or have the potential for stripping your gears if you crash and the rear end halfway pops out. Um, is it worth the five bucks? Yes, it definitely is. Or if you wanna buy the pin vise and the pins yourself, I believe that's around 10 bucks and you can do it yourself to any of your cars. So I uh, hope you guys have a good one and hopefully this video helps out. If you have other methods, tips or tricks, feel free, feel free to drop them in the comments and uh, we'd love to hear them. Thanks.